church worldwide, the global recovery vessel reaching millions of vulnerable souls all over the entire world with the voice of Christianity, bringing the message of salvation, healing, teaching and deliverance to the brokenhearted, pointing all believers and non-believers to the resurrected Christ in his full immortal body, which is the church of the living God, the celestial city of the heavenly in Jerusalem. You are all welcome on board with us. Please join us now as Dr. Edmund brings a message of faith, hope, and deliverance. My names are Engineer Okorene James. After the first, uh, first service, second service, I was in the second service, during the third service. So I was about going. I told Sister Julie that uh, I'm about leaving. You know, he said no, that I should wait, that we have to see Daddy first. So when we we'll get downstairs, we have to go and meet Daddy. So after we were discussing, and then daddy just look at me and just tell me something. What he told me, told me that, son, I want to tell you something. There is something, there are two things in this life. One is to go up and the other thing is the health. So he told me that. So he started describing, he said, so there is something disturbing you as you are sitting right now. The thing disturbs you from the lung down to your ribs and it makes you not to breathe fine. You now make it that I don't know whether you were born with it or it came along the line. I said, Daddy, don't make sure again. You just said it all. I started sharing tears immediately. Those that were in the meeting with those choir and the instrumentalist that was there, they were that way by five or six of us, including Daddy, that were inside that place. I started sharing tears. I told Daddy, don't say it again. I tell you, Daddy, Daddy, this thing happened to me. I was not born with an asthma. I tell you that this thing you are talking about is an asthma. There's no need of naming it already. Let me just give the name exactly, but you describe it because that is how it is. I said I traveled to Cameroon in the year 2000 to work. And because of that thing, I couldn't stay. I was just sleeping one night on July of that the year 2000. I was just living and I discovered that I was struggling inside, just as if I was in a dream and I was struggling. Automatically, that somebody tried to strangle me. And I woke up from the day, I discovered I couldn't breathe well. I went to the doctor and the doctor told me that I have an asthma. I said, how come will I have an asthma just like that? As grown as I am, just asthma. They said, well, I started using inhaler. I've went to many doctors. In short, I've went to so many churches. In short, because of this thing, I go from church to church. In short, nothing is even happening. But I tell you that daddy said that God just told him now that this thing is for him and that he have to pray for me now. I said, daddy, I am ready. He said, I should need that. He now asked the rest guys then that all of them should join hands and pray for me. I would pray. While he was praying, I felt the presence of God. Daddy was vibrating. If you see the If you see the vibration, if you see the way that it was vibrating, I know the vibration. I know it was, it was just as electrical that they plug electric inside his body. As he holds my head, he was vibrating. And as he was, the vibrating transferred into me and I fell. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I fell. After the prayer, after perfecting the prayer, he asked me to stand up. He asked me to breathe in and breathe out. I breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. He says, son, go. You are free. You see that you see the handwork of God in this situation. I said, thank you very much. I, I was still crying. I was still crying. I still feel the presence of God in me. I went home that day. I went to work. After I went to work, because how this thing normally disturb me, when it comes to midnight between 1 and 2, it will rise and start disturbing me. Even in the afternoon, it will come. But it's not like that. But what it comes to, that, that midnight on is basic. So anywhere I'm going, and I told you that, Daddy, even that yesterday, Saturday, that I was walking here in that night, I was with my inhaler inside my pocket. So I, I went to that day, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, as I was going to work, definitely, I go to Joel Legba. I discovered that, ah, I said, I said, well, they prayed for me. Let me go. Nothing is happening. As I was climbing, because my, my office is nine story building. So, well, you know, when you are climbing nine story building, and once I climb like that, as I begin to breathe, the thing will begin to pump out.
So that day, because I was late, I came here to work that on Tuesday. I finished what I left here after three, and I need to resume work by four. So I was trying to, immediately I got home, took my bath. So I was just rushing to get to the office. So immediately I got to the step. I was just running the step to, I was just jumping the step. Pia, pia. I discovered that I run ninth floor to the top. I didn't get tired. Even before I climb, I will just take one one step like this. Till even though when I get there, it will still come. Eh? But this one, I ran. I will just jump because I know I got there when it was at about sixteen after four. I was still I was still downstairs. I was still at the gate. So I need to hurry up so that the guy that I will change will not hurry me. So I was just jumping the step. Pia, pia, pia. I run to the to, to the last floor, enter inside my office. I didn't even feel anything. I said, wow, something is happening here. Something is happening. The Lord is doing something. I said, wow, something is happening here. I think I tried to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Yes, I was checking myself this time because I was trying to, when daddy prayed, I believe. But even that on Tuesday, when I even came, before I left, he told me that when he see me, he said, how far is it? He said, he said don't worry, son. You are okay. So when I check myself, I, I, I breathe in, I breathe out, I breathe in, I breathe out. I, I didn't feel anything. I, I said, God, I thank you. I think I have been healed permanently. And I'll tell you, since that day, till now, even when I sleep, I don't even, I just sleep as if not, nothing, nothing is. Somebody shall I just want to I just want to let you know that when God is sent to do something for you as I am I believe in God so much because since I discovered that this sickness does not have a cure but I know that my God has a cure and I strongly believe that one day just one day God will heal me and my God has done it for me praise the Lord God bless you. Maybe you are just coming in now. Uh, you didn't have opportunity to view this program. I'm going to pray with you as well because God loves you. And then, in case you have no fellowship yet, you're looking for a place to worship God in spirit and in truth, this is an opportunity for you. This is the Church Worldwide International. Uh, well, within, you have the Kingdom Recovery Church in the Church Worldwide International. So God bless you. Can you put your hands but have faith in this prayer? I mean that you're going to be blessed now. That's what I'm saying. I mean it. If you doubt God, now watch it. Open your palms. Precious God Almighty, before whom I stand, I don't even need to know the sickness this fellow is suffering the problem, the circumstance, the hurdles, the hindrances, and the, the, the obstacles and things on his or her way, I decree and proclaim freedom for you. I proclaim the freedom of Christ over you. Let the Lord Jesus Christ visit you and then touch you where you hurt and set you free. And let the Lord keep on granting you open doors. Receive breakthrough and receive the salvation of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, and so, Lord, I pray that you take absolute control of this individual, every sickness in your body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be wiped away in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As simple as that. Now use that your hand and rub your whole body and say, thank you, Jesus, for healing me, for blessing me, for delivering me, for answering the prayer of this man of God. In Jesus' name, I pray over you. Amen. Thank you. Any questions, comments, prayer requests, and testimony you want to share with us? You can do that by sending them through phone numbers and emails displayed on your screen. 
for we are ready to hear from you. We hope to see you in another exciting moment of recovery. God bless you.